Car Real Time offers a possibility to enhance its model through its compatibility with Simulink, which allows for the development of additional subsystems and control logics. While co-simulation with VI Car Real Time is great, sometimes real time simulations are required, such as for hardware in the loop applications. To make such cases possible, compatibility between Simulation Workbench and Simulink has been developed. In this video, we will show you how to adapt your Simulink model and run it in real time with Simulation Workbench. Let's start with Simulation Workbench. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll go ahead and create a new project. The first thing we want to do is to create a new real-time database, or RTDB. Now we need to go to the VI Drive Sim. We select our project and deploy it. In the Configuration tab, we need to choose our newly created RTDB and update it. With the ML Toolkit installed, we'll go back to our Simulink model. From the Simulation Workbench library, we import the from RTDBC and to RTDBC blocks to replace outputs and inputs, respectively. We must now rename the variable names of each block with the corresponding channel from Simulation Workbench. Let's go back to Simulation Workbench and load the RTDB. Going to the Analog Signals tab, we can look for every relevant channel and copy their names to paste in the RTDB blocks in Simulink. Once all of the blocks are properly renamed, it is time to delete the VI Car Real Time model and connect our RTDB blocks to the inputs and outputs. Once that is done, we must go back to Simulation Workbench to unload the database. Let's go to the CMWB tab. In Preferences, we go and check the box that says Append RTDB Variables as AIO or DIO. When that's done, we need to ensure that our model parameters are correct. The simulation time should be set to infinite, and the step of the simulation should be a fixed step of 1 millisecond. You can also choose your preferred solving numerical method. Back to the CMW tab, in the Toolkit section, we need to start by filling the simulation workbench host information. We also need to select the relevant project we have created earlier. In the RTDB Creator tab, we must make sure that the using ML Toolkit library blocks only is checked. Then, let's select the RTDB we have created and click on Create and Upload RTDB. When prompted, choose the Append Update option. Going to MATLAB and looking at the common window, we can make sure that the process has been successful. Going back to Simulink and ML Toolkit, we must first save our model. We then go to the Code Generator tab, where our RTDB should already be selected and click on Generate, Export and Make. Going back to the MATLAB common window, we can look at the progress and make sure everything is running as expected. When the process is over, we can go to Simulation Workbench and see in the tree that our Simulink model has been loaded properly. For this video, a test has been created by selecting our RTDB and included our Simulink model in the synchronous model. Let's go back to VI Drive Sim. In the Simulation tab, we select our test session and go to the Configuration tab. There, we select the VICRT model and edit the signals file. We uncheck the pre check box, select our input channels and save our edits. Back in the Simulation tab, we select the relevant Send SVM file as our vehicle model, save the changes and we are now ready to launch the simulation.
And that is how you can simulate in real time your in-house vehicle's models with Simulink and Simulation Workbench for all your driver and hardware in-the-loop applications.